The Batman is directed by Matt Reeves and stars Robert Pattinson, Zoe Kravitz, and Paul Dano. When the sadistic serial killer, the Riddler, begins murdering key figureheads of Gotham, Batman is forced to investigate the city's hidden corruption and begins to question his family's involvements. Now, for most people, The Batman was their most anticipated movie of 2022. I was one of the rare few that wasn't anticipating this movie to the extent most people were. Don't get me wrong, it was a close second most anticipated movie for me, but for me, I was always more looking forward to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness because, hey, I love me a good sci-fi multiverse movie. With that said, it's gonna be really hard for Doctor Strange to top this after seeing it. This movie was awesome. I mean, my god, they did it. They made an incredible Batman movie, the likes of which we haven't seen since the Nolan films. That was amazing. This is just going to be 10 minutes or so of me just praising this movie, and we're going to start with the casting, because the entire cast in this movie is incredible. I will admit, I was on the fence about Pattinson as Batman, but my god did he prove every naysayer wrong. True, his Bruce Wayne doesn't get nearly as much screen time as his Batman, but at the same time, his Batman, oh man, his voice is great, his intimidation is on point, his fighting style is brutal, yeah, he's not as slick as the other Batman we've seen, but this is like year one Batman, so all of his more down-to-earth touches, from his suit, to his gadgets, to his Batmobile, is realistic. His Batman and Zoe Kravitz's Catwoman have such incredible chemistry together that whenever they shared the screen together, I never really thought that they were just Zoe Kravitz and Robert Pattinson. Whenever they were on screen just talking to each other, I was just looking at the screen like, yeah, that's Batman and Catwoman. That is no one else. Paul Dano is also so creepy as this Zodiac Killer-inspired Riddler and his riddles and his traps and everything just like that. It's It grounds Riddler in this realm of reality while keeping in the tone of the character that was always intended throughout every single incarnation while making him more modern and more realistic. Andy Serkis is just incredible as Alfred. Jeffrey Wright is amazing as Jim Gordon. And my God, Colin Farrell as the Penguin. That is one of the best performances I've ever seen in any single superhero movie. He completely lost himself in that role. Physically, vocally, everything Lee, I barely even recognized him as Colin Farrell. I also loved the story. Not only did Matt Reeves promise that we would get Batman, the world's greatest detective in this movie, and delivered on that promise, but the mystery that Batman must solve is intriguing, dark, and nothing like we've ever seen in any live-action Batman movie. Add that along with the amazing character insight into how Batman perceives himself in Gotham's eyes, and you've got the makings of one hell of a captivating story. And I mean it. Just from sheer adrenaline rush, this three-hour movie felt like an hour and a half. It was that good. And the music is so beautiful and powerful and Matt Reeves' direction is absolutely gorgeous and... I'm sorry. I know if you've been scrolling past YouTube and seeing a whole bunch of Batman reviews that they're all pretty much saying the same thing, that it's great. But I'm sorry, it really is great. My only real flaw with the movie is that every now and then, you'll get a line that doesn't really work. Whether it's exposition or an in-joke about a character, there are moments where the writing sort of hinges a bit. But apart from that, no, there is no problem with the movie that I am willing to acknowledge apart from those couple of lines. This movie is amazing and I loved every minute of it. 
The characters are fantastic, the acting is incredible, the story is always engaging, the action is awesome, the visuals are beautifully dark yet stylish, and the music is absolutely unbelievable. I am a huge Batman fan, don't get me wrong, but I went into this movie with lower expectations just so that I wouldn't be ungodly disappointed if it was anything less than amazing. I went in with the expectations that this movie was going to be good, and I came out thinking it was incredible. I love it. I'm going to give The Batman an A+. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. And let me know in the comments down below, what's your favorite Batman movie? As much as I do love this latest film, I don't think it gravitates towards the masterful direction of Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy, especially The Dark Knight, which in my opinion is the objective best. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. And don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell icon down below to stay up to date on all things movie, all things TV, all things nerd.